guys this is the thing i'm gonna use in my coconut cake for the very first time i have one grated coconut i have one nutmeg one and a half spoon of baking powder one teaspoon of cinnamon powder i have grated ginger piece of ginger half spoon of salt it doesn't matter what um essence you have you can use in in it whatever you have in you can use I have two cups of sugar and three cups of flour. I have some dry prunes. I cut it in small pieces. The reason why I put it in the water because I do not want the cake to be too sweet. So if you have dry fruits, you can put it inside of it. It's your choice. Whatever you have, you do it with what you have at home. So I'll be back to show you all how I do my coconut cake for the very first time. Hi guys, I am back in my kitchen to bring you all another video. How I'm going to do a coconut cake for the very first time. I'm going to try a coconut cake. So I'm going to break the coconut. It have a clay wrap on it. I'm not going to take the clay wrap. The reason why. Sometimes when you break in the coconut, it will squeeze the palm of your hand. So I realized the best way for me is to leave the clear wrap on the coconut. So you can break it the way that you want. It's better for me that way. $3 for one coconut. So now I'm gonna take out the clay wrap. So you see what I'm talking about? And now I'm taking out the coconut from the shell. You have to be careful because sometimes by taking out the see how, the way I take it out. This is the way that I take it out. You have to be very careful by taking out the shell. Guys, how are y'all doing? Please like and subscribe to my channel so I can bring you a simple video. The way I prepare my meals in my kitchen. Okay, now I am done. Very I wash my coconut. This is my coconut. Okay guys, I'll be back to show you how I do it. Guys, I am back to show you how I grate my coconut. The grater have this side, but it's better to grate it on this side. So I'm just showing you how I'm going to grate my coconut to do my coconut cake. You can do it in your kitchen too, my people. It's very easy. Very easy. This is one of the things I love. One of like snacks. Anything that's made of coconut, I love it. But it's if I make it by myself, I love it. You can put it in a blender if you... If you have a blender, you can put it in a blender. It's, it comes into the same thing. But that's the way I feel like doing it. Okay, guys. So this is how I grate my coconut. I'll be back to show you all the finish touch. Okay, guys, let's get started with me in my kitchen showing you all how I do my coconut cake for the very first time. I do not have any idea how it's gonna come out. This is my grated coconut. So now I'm gonna take my flour and sift it. I don't know how you call it in your country. Three cups of flour. Sometimes I don't use all the flour. So now I'm gonna I leave a little bit in the bowl. It's your choice. You do it the way that 
you want in your in your kitchen so why mixing the coconut and the flour now i'm gonna go with my baking powder mixing my baking powder mixing everything together guys how are you doing you can mix it anyhow you feel like it's yours in your kitchen you do it the way that you feel like now i'm gonna mix my nutmeg it's your choice whatever you want to mix first you mix first see guys i'm mixing everything together now i'm gonna mix the cinnamon I'm mixing the ginger and a little bit of salt. Now I'm gonna mix the sugar. Like I said again, it's your choice. You mix whichever one you want first. You do it the way that you feel comfortable in your kitchen. My very first time, I don't know how it's gonna come out, but I just feel for coconut cake in my kitchen. So now I'm gonna go with two tablespoons of essence, whichever one you have in your kitchen, you do with it. Now I have three cups of water, so now I'm gonna start pouring my water to mix. You pour little by little and you start mixing. Some people put milk in it if you want, it's your choice, you can put milk. I'm gonna put a little more water to it. And keep on mixing. Mixing, mixing until everything mixed together. Guys, this is my way. I don't know how you do it in your kitchen, but it's I do it the way that I feel comfortable to do it. See how we keep on mixing for everything to mix together. Now I have some dry reasons i put water the reason why i put the water because i you know all these reasons sweet so i chop it and i put it in warm water so now i'm gonna squeeze it i know some people will say but you're taking out all the flavor i don't want it to be too sweet that's why i put it in warm water it's your choice you do it the way that you feel comfortable but that's the way that i wanted to do it too much sugar is not good for the body see guys i don't know how it's gonna come out but i'm just trying nothing beats a try you fail you try again I'm gonna taste it to see if it's sweet, but I didn't put all the sugar because I don't want it to be sweet. Yeah, it's good, perfect. I don't want, I'm taking the taste of 
everything. I don't want it to be too sweet. See how it is, guys? If you find it too soft, you can put a little bit of more flour. But for me, I find it's, it's okay for me. Okay, guys. This is my way of making it. I find it need a little, little flour for me. A little flour. Oh, I have flour. I have flour there. So, I'm gonna add a little bit of flour to it. Not much, little. Little, 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 little. Okay, guys, this is the way that I do it in my kitchen. So I'll be back to show you all the finish touch of it. Guys, this is the finished touch of my coconut cake for my very first time. So I could not wait for it to get cold and it come out just the way that I want. I wanted the coconut to be inside, like I seen the coconut. So yes, guys, I'm done.